Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Eric and thanks for joining us because today we're gonna take smoke, cheddar cheese, and jalapenos and we're gonna bring them together in a smoky jalapeno cheddar sausage. I gotta be honest, I love the addition of cheese and sausage. I mean, we're adding extra sharp cheddar in this recipe, but Parmesan, provolone, Swiss, uh, blue cheese, they're all fantastic and they all add their own unique characteristics to the sausage. A great mouthfeel, wonderful texture. This particular sausage is not a technically challenging sausage, unlike some of the other ones on this series, but there are some things that you are gonna wanna know if you decide to make this at home. And don't worry, we're gonna cover everything from start to finish. The recipe for this sausage can be found in the description box below. And if you're on a cell phone, look at the title of the video. Next to the title, there's a little down arrow Click that down arrow, it expands the description box, and that's where you'll find a link to this recipe. And before we begin, I just wanna say a great big thanks to Dahlstrung for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Dahlstrung, I'm gonna put a link in the description box to their website. You gotta check them out. They offer more than 300 different types of knives, different styles to choose from, Japanese, German style, and they carry everything. Chefs, butchering, carving, pairing, filet, it's unbelievable. Matter of fact, I started with Dahlstrung about four years ago, buying one of their more popular chef's knives from their Shogun series, and I loved it. It felt good in the hand. It was weighted well, balanced well. It kept a nice edge. And since then, I have amassed a very unique collection of knives, as you will see in this series. Dahlstrung was kind enough to offer a discount code for those of you watching Celebrate Sausage. So if you need a knife, now's the time to do it. Your discount code automatically applies when you click the link in the description box below. Thank you, Dahlstrung, for sponsoring this video. Let's make smoked jalapeno cheddar sausage. All right, let's get started with this sausage. And I think we're gonna start off with the Guardian. This is a knife from Dahlstrung and their Gladiator series, fun knife to use. So we're gonna go ahead and process our pork. Now, for this recipe, we're gonna be doing a beef and pork uh, combination. If you wanna do all pork, if you wanna do all beef, that's totally fine. I personally like the texture of a beef and pork sausage. So once we get our pork cut, we're gonna set that to the side, and then we're just gonna go ahead and process our beef and our pork back fat. Depending on the kind of grinder you have will determine how you cut your meat. You may cut it into small chunks, into small strips. Just make sure it fits into your grinder head effortlessly. And the number one rule in sausage making is keep everything super cold. So before we grind it, I'm gonna pop this into the freezer to partially freeze it, and then we can grind it. Now that we're done grinding, that's gonna go back in the freezer and let's take a look at our spices. We've got salt, cure number one. We're gonna be adding some garlic powder and some onion powder. Just a touch of sugar, not a whole lot. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. Feel free to have fun with the spices in this sausage. We're now gonna add whole mustard seeds. I love the flavor blast of biting into a whole mustard seed. We've got smoked paprika and some chipotle powder, which is gonna complement our jalapenos very nicely. And then we're gonna come back with a little red chili flakes. This one last ingredient is an optional ingredient. It's called sodium erythorbate. It's a pure accelerator and an antioxidant. And that just simply means that I can cook my sausage immediately and it's going to prevent the cheese or the jalapenos from oxidizing our meat. Speaking of jalapenos, we're gonna go ahead and finally chop one up. Now, I'm only gonna be putting one in. You can put however many you want. You don't wanna overwhelm the sausage though with these extra ingredients, and so I find that one is perfect. And now we've got our cheddar cheese diced into small cubes, and we're just gonna set that to the side. We don't need high temp cheese for this recipe because we're not gonna be cooking our sausage above 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's start by putting our meat into our mixer and turn our mixer on low. For the liquid, we're gonna be adding cream, and this is gonna add a lot of richness to this sausage. It's also gonna give it a slight creamy flavor. And then of course, we're gonna add our spices and our peppers. So we're just gonna give this a mix until our mince becomes sticky and tacky. 
and when we grab a little bit of it, it should stick to our hand. So under normal circumstances, we would pull this out of the mixer. But for this particular sausage, we're now gonna add our cheddar cheese. And adding the cheese at the end of this process keeps those little cubes intact, which I personally like. If you add it too soon, it may break those pieces all up, which technically isn't that big a deal. So we're literally just going to incorporate that cheese. We don't have to really mix it too long. I'm guessing another 10 or 15 seconds. And our mince is now done. So this is what it looks like. It's nice and sticky. And now it's time to stuff this into some hog casings. If you don't have hog casings, you can make burger patties out of this. And this would make a great jalapeno cheddar burger. So let's get this into some casings, which I apparently lost the footage for, but this is what it looks like when you're finished. And so all we're going to do now is get these linked up. The important thing to remember when you're stuffing your sausages is to not stuff them too tightly. If you stuff them too tightly, they could burst, uh, not only when you're linking them up, but when you cook them. So you just want to make sure that you don't stuff them too tightly. And I like to just across the board prick the sausage with a sausage pricker, uh, but specifically looking for any air pockets. So now we're going to place these into our smoker. And before we start cooking these sausages, we want to dry them out a little bit. So I'm just going to leave the door to my smoker open, turn the heat on, and leave them in there for about an hour. We're looking for a temp around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius, and this should be sufficient to just dry the casings out enough. That's going to help us get a really nice snappy bite when we go to eat them. So an hour has passed, and we're now going to begin the process of actually cooking our sausages. So the first thing we're going to do is increase our temperature to 125 degrees Fahrenheit and begin to apply smoke. And to do that, we're using a cold smoke generator from smoking it. Now, the cook is going to take several hours and we're going to start relatively low and we're going to work our way up. Notice the sausages are nice and dry. Let's go ahead and close that off. And let me show you our cooking schedule because we're going to cook these nice and slow. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up the app for our smoking it smoker. And we've already completed step one. Step one is 100 degrees for an hour, but step two is 125 for an hour and a half. And with a smoke in its smoker, once it's done with its cycle, it'll automatically move to the next one. So 145, 155, and then it's going to end up at 180 until the internal temperature of the sausages reach 145 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a digital smoker, just cook these nice and slow. We don't want to cook it too fast. And we don't want the temperature to get too hot. Otherwise, the cheddar cheese will melt out. So once they're done cooking, we are just going to place that into some very cold water to stop the cooking process. And then we're going to place these on our countertop for three or four hours at room temperature so that the sausages can bloom. And the blooming process doesn't do anything for the flavor. It just helps develop the color, giving you a nice, pretty sausage. So here's our smoked jalapeno cheddar sausages. I think it's time to give one a taste. All right, now it's time to taste this smoked jalapeno cheddar sausage. And I gotta tell you, this looks incredible. Nice smooth slice. We got cheese sprinkled throughout, jalapenos sprinkled throughout. It smells beautiful. It smells smoky. It looks like it's held together real well. So let's just give it a bite and, uh, and see how it tastes. Mm. Wow. That is remarkably juicy. And the cheese it's not quite too melted and it's not solid. So it gives you like this really, really great mouthfeel. As far as the spice level goes, it is perfect. I mean, if you want it spicier, you can add more peppers or add a spicier pepper like a serrano or maybe even a habanero. And as far as the smoke goes, it is exactly where it needs to be. You know, it's smoked just enough to let you know it's there without being overwhelming. And uh, I got to give this another bite. Mm. Look at that. There's literally cheese in every bite. That's delicious. It's got a very nice creaminess to it. That casing's got a, a great snap. And overall, this sausage is a winner. And I hope you get a chance to try it. If you got any questions about this smoked jalapeno cheddar sausage, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, you found it entertaining or helpful in any way, 
a great big thumbs up would be appreciated. And if you're new here and you liked what you saw and you want to see more of it, now's the time to click that subscribe button and that notification bell because this month we're posting a new video every day on how to make sausage. You're not going to want to miss a single episode. Thanks a lot for being here. We'll see you tomorrow.